Welcome, one and all. It's everyone's favorite time of year when the spirits come out to play, scaring the little children and giving old people the willies. That's right, it's Halloween. Buffy the Vampire Slayer for the Game Boy Color was released in 2000 and is based on the TV series, but I can't remember what the name of the TV series was, sorry. The story goes along the lines of Buffy is a vampire slayer and is trying to relax to have a week off from her university course when a horde of bloodthirsty vampires decide to attack her town, which was a rather silly idea if you ask me. I would have chosen a town without a vampire slayer personally. Ah uh, well, you live and learn. The game itself is a side-scrolling beat-em-up where you play as Buffy and you have to walk from left to right taking on evil bastard vampires using your mad kung fu skills. You have a few moves at your disposal, various kicks and punches as well as a throw and a block too. It is one of those weird games though where you have to press the up to jump and that should always be a no-no. While the game itself is pretty unimpressive, it does at least try to throw in some innovations. For example, when you're fighting the vampires, rather than just punch them in the face until their health runs out, you actually have to finish them with a stake to the heart. Not a delicious T-bone stake, mind you, a wooden one used for vampire killing. So when the health bar runs out on the vampire, it will just lay on the floor until the bar recharges before it gets back up. It is possible to knock vampires down at any point, but they will only stay down for as long as the bar is refilling, so sometimes only for a second or two. During this time, you've got to get in the right position and stick that stake through their heart. Or, actually more accurately in this game, through their face, it seems. This does also apply to the bosses, meaning that in theory, you can leg sweep the boss immediately, and if you are quick enough, kill them right away. Much like I did to this guy. Buffy herself has a similar health mechanic, where you have two meters. If the green one is depleted, you'll fall to the ground, allowing the vampire to suck your blood, which is represented by the red bar. If your blood meter fills out, that is when you die. It's a surprisingly good idea. Unfortunately, there isn't too much more to say on the positive side. The game itself isn't too bad, it's just unremarkable. The engine on the game can only handle one enemy on screen at a time and it even still slows down if there's a small collectible item on the screen at the same time. The music here is pretty mind-numbing too, and it repeats far too often. Graphically, most of the game looks like it was drawn by a five-year-old, especially the cutscenes. So why play this game on Halloween? Well, it's still Buffy, and it can be scary, just not necessarily for the right reasons. <laughs> 